Students at Cardinal Stritch University have to find a new school for their education next year. The school announced yesterday they will close at the end of the academic year. That's next month. President Dr. Dan Scholes noted a downward enrollment trend, the pandemic and the need for more resources. All behind the shutdown, calling it a no win situation. That private Roman Catholic University was founded in 1937. But Cardinal Stritch isn't alone. Dozens of schools across the country have shut down since 2020. Sarah McGrew reports on the challenges facing higher ed here in Wisconsin and across the nation. Declining enrollment and impacts from the pandemic were some of the reasons Cardinal Stritch said it will close at the end of the school year. It was a new game, new day, and this is true across the country where higher education institutions, world were rocked. That's Mark Money, UWM Chancellor and founding chair of Higher Education Regional Alliance, or HERA, which includes 18 institutions like Marquette, MATC, Alverno, and Cardinal Stritch. What keeps me up at night, of course, is um, some of the financial issues as we've had um, you know, a tuition freeze for a decade that's recently been changed, so that will help a little bit. Um, some of the enrollments um, that, that we've looked at, again, the demo demographics, we're running out of teenagers. Looking at some of those HERA member schools, you can see declining enrollment is a trend across the board, and Marquette President Michael Lovell says that's likely to continue. One of the challenges higher ed faces is we have a lot of headwinds, and we know that demographics and the enrollments are going to be decreasing over the next few years. Already this year, Higher Ed Dive reports that in addition to Cardinal Stritch, six other colleges and universities across the country have made the decision to close, including two others in the Midwest. And since 2020, 38 schools have closed across the country. Many cited declining enrollment. I think this is a sad indicator of the challenges that are happening in higher education today. I think that um, it is a wake up call. If you, have, if, if, if you weren't already aware of the plight and the, the um, scenario facing higher education today. Moni says now is the time for innovation and for campuses to perhaps considering merging. I do think one of the realities that we're looking at, not just in this region, but across um, the country is the need to collaborate and partner to a greater degree. And both Moni and Level fear that without significant change, we could see more regional schools closing in the next few years. For most universities, particularly private schools, that rely so much on tuition, uh, financially they're challenged, so I do have a fear uh, that this more, more schools may close going in the future. It is something that we likely will see more of. Um, and I think that, that it does raise a challenge societally, um, employment-wise, regional economy. The Hare Institutions say that they are ready to welcome Cardinal Stritch students onto their campuses and are working on plans to make that transition as seamless as possible. Reporting in Fox Point, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News. All right, thanks, Sarah. Now, according to our partners over at the Milwaukee Business Journal, tax filings from the past several years show that Cardinal Stritch frequently operated at a loss between 2015 and 2020. The documents show that the only year revenue exceeded expenses at Cardinal Stritch was in 2020 when the university took in grants and gifts. That year, the pandemic, Cardinal Stritch received more than $4 million in grants that includes a loan from the Paycheck Protection Program. Cardinal Stritch's loan was fully forgiven, according to an audit of the university's finances.